What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Mo T. And it is time for that five-minute cigar review. You heard me. Five-minute cigar review. Don't forget to tell your friends about the five-minute cigar review. Like and share. Share and like. Uh, subscribe. Uh, uh, leave your comments at the five-minute cigar review. Anyway, uh... You know, it's been, what, about a month, month and a half when I'm recording this that we've been on this lockdown, stay-at-home, rest-in-place, whatever it's called. Um, and people are starting to get antsy, starting to get a little frustrated and starting to get downright pissy, if you don't mind uh, me saying so. And they should be. Um, the government is taking away your freedoms, people. They've uh, tricked you into believing you got to stay at home. But you know what? I'm not going to get into my personal views on that. Just going to take that, slide that over there. You guys forget I even said that. I, I may have lost a few subscribers by saying that. And then I may have gained a couple. Um, but anyway, because we're so divided on stuff like this. But again, not going to get into it. Today's special guest is the Alec Bradley Nika Puro. The Nika Puro by Alec Bradley. And as the name suggests, it's a Nicaraguan Puro. That means that the wrapper, binder, and filler are all made from Nicaraguan tobaccos. And it is a very decent cigar. I'm going to go ahead and give that baby, or give this baby, three and a quarter fingers. Three and a quarter. I can't, yeah, you figure it out. Three and a quarter fingers, because I like it. Um, Alec Bradley is one of those companies that makes decent cigars. Nothing that really stands out that's great, but they have some that I like. And I'm going to add this to that list. It's got some good flavors. It's not overly complex, but all the flavors flow together nicely. And it's a good taste. So um, I'm tasting uh, some chocolate, a little bit of like earth, uh, more woody than earthy, but some woodiness. Um, peppery, almost, almost like cinnamon maybe. And uh, a little bit of nuttiness. Um, so you got three or four flavors in there. And again, that blend... The flow, the way they mingle in your mouth, it's nice. Um, good construction. If I didn't mention it, and I don't think I did, it's got a diamond shape to it. The Nika Puro here has a diamond. And I don't know if you can see it good. Let me tap that off. Hold on. I don't know if you can. That didn't work. It didn't tap off. Anyway, I don't know if you can see it good here on the camera. Um, maybe put, show you from the head there. It's got a diamond shape. It's not round. It's not box pressed. It's almost like they took the box press and then twisted it a little bit to give you that pure or that that, that diamond shape for the Nika Puro, um, and it feels good in the hands. I really can't explain it other than that. It just because it feels different and it's noticeably different. You put it in your fingers there, you hold it, and you realize that it's neither one of the normal shapes, and it just feels good. It's uh, I don't know, just noticeable. I guess maybe maybe I'm just a little goofy. And I like silly things like that. But again, it's got that uh, woody, chocolatey, cinnamony, um, nutty flavor. Good construction. The the burn, a um, little bit off there, but that's mainly probably me. Um, what we used to call in my neighborhood user error. error. Um, but it's got a good, ash, good tight ash. Um, feels good, like I said. It's silky smooth. The oils are in there. The draw is just about right. It's a little bit loose for my taste, but not so loose that, again, that I feel like I'm not doing anything, not working at all. This is the second one that I've had, and the first one was pretty much the same thing, actually, with a little bit, little bit off on that burn, but not too much, and the draw. Um, actually, the last one might have been a little looser than this one. But it's a good smoke. I like it. I want you guys to go try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, as I always say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave your comments. I've been getting some pretty good comments, and I'm really appreciate you guys. I think I said appreciate when I should have said appreciate. I really do appreciate you guys leaving your comments. Um, keep them coming. Let me know if there's anything that you like or anything you don't like. If you have any suggestions for cigars. I'd mentioned once before or a while back, and I keep forgetting to mention it. If you have some cigars 
that you want me to try, please feel free to send them to me. Um, I'll try to remember to leave in the comments the address you can send them to me. Um, if I forget to do so, just leave me a, a message asking that, and I will return your message with a response with the address for you to send me one of your cigars you'd like to see me review. So, all right, y'all. Y'all have a good day or a good evening or whatever time of the day that it is when you're watching this. Remember to be cool and stay smoky and peace out.